Hi guys, a warm welcome to my channel and for today's episode is my very first unboxing. I have here a box of Shinmu's latest series, Vampire Candy House, and this is quite surprising, yet exciting and thrilling. Because every box consists of six pieces only. So come and join me as I try my luck in opening these boxes and hope I'll get my target. I will be happy if I get a vampire design because there are 9 regulars, then 5 surprises, and 2 secrets. Hope you guys enjoy this unboxing! The thing I like about finding unicorns especially for the Shinwu is its packaging. From small boxes to its complete set, everything was sealed with plastic so I find it clean and neat. Let's shake this box and let the universe decide what the science meant for me. Let's go! Sorry guys, this might take a bit longer because I usually open my box like this. <laughs> I'll fast forward it here. First design, we've got the sweet blood times, not bad. So it was this plastic finding unicorn coin that was shaking inside. Curious question, do you guys also open your pouch like this? First design, no scratches on the surface. Character is glued to it, and I really think the container can't be opened. Then at the bottom, you can see Finding Unicorn and Shinwoo's embossed, and there will always be a serial number. For drinking beer and measurements printed on the container, I like this detail. I tried opening it again and cannot, so I give up. Before I proceed to the second box, let me remove all the sealed plastic first. Second design, oh yeah, the naughty tooth baby. Sorry, got excited. Adorable tooth base stand. Oops. Love the details, the fangs, the toothpaste, and also this bottom looks like a crack egg. Nice color too. Love the top toothpaste monster. So cute. And so the third box begins. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. <gasps> oh, I gotcha. One of the designs that I wanted to send it to Tooth Guardian. I'm in love with the detail. The cat on top, the back printed heart, and the tooth like brooch. For the stand, is in heart shape with the bite mark on one side. I like how it's purple. A handsome tooth guardian with its color. To the fourth box, and what lies ahead? We have, oh, what's this? Peter Sweet Love. Okay. Cool, they even wrap it to secure the helmet. Nice. This monster bear is in matte quality, and I like the helmet. For me, this design is much cuter with the helmet. And let's get rolling to the fifth box. Ooh, I have a thick plastic going here. What's this? Ah! It's the lollipop vampire! Okay, okay, I'll relax a bit.
there's a quote written at the back, no sweets, no life. Cool coffin stand with a blood stain on the other side. Blah, blah, lollipop. Oh, I can buy a different stand because there's a hole at the bottom. We have a flannel fabric on the collar. And I'm already satisfied with these five designs. But we do still need to open the sixth and final box. Will it be a surprise design? Or a secret? Or a regular one? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ooh, we got two plastic coins. What's this? Oh, the jelly hunter. Peekaboo! Oh, so cute! The character is in matte quality, while the candy stand is in glossy type. So we now have a gummy hunter with wings and nice smudge gummy in its hand. And the top monster is also cute. Here's a recap. So these plastic coins were the ones that are shaking inside the box. I thought it was an accessory. And based on my observation, these plastic coins have a significant role on what level your design is. Another recap for what designs was pulled. Here are the cards. It's semi-gloss type, nice color combination, and love how smooth it is. Then the back part, it's with the QR code, and as you can see, there's color difference for the surprise design cards. I'll just examine the quality of the cards. It's just not bad, so-so. A cardboard type. Made an attempt to open the container again, but no. So, we're good. The painted jelly hand slightly rough, so it made it kind of realistic. At first, this design, I find it kind of meh, but now gothic with a touch of cuteness. And it's a good combination with the helmet. And funny how the lollipop looks like asleep. Overall, I'm happy to say that I'm very satisfied with this set box. So thank you for watching my first unboxing video. Hope to see you guys again soon. Till my next unboxing videos, thank you again and bye!